hey aspirants welcome back to this new video i hope you guys are doing great so in this video we will understand about a preparation plan for pgcet 2023 because uh, still 20 days left for the exam and we, i i will share my experience and tips and tricks how you can uh, secure a good rank uh, by doing some smart work and some uh, hard work as well we will analyze the previous year question papers and get to know how uh, what are all the topics we are getting uh, and what is the frequency of a particular topic in the question paper uh, for mathematics and uh, for the computers and uh, for the elr and all so we will understand that uh, first as you can see the syllabus of the uh, uh, mca uh, here you will you will be having a uh, total 100 marks of paper in which 80 questions will be asked which is uh, consists of two parts part a part a and part b so in part a it consists of 60 questions and part b consists of 20 questions total 80 questions and the part b consists of each question carries two marks which means part b consists of total 40 marks and part a consists total 60 marks so total 100 marks uh, the question paper will be there for 100 marks uh, here uh, uh, they have given the uh, classification of unit 1 unit 2 how many questions will be there from unit 2 unit uh, 3 unit 1 so I, I have done analysis of this it is not that accurate uh, they will usually uh, we can't say uh, basically 50 percent of the paper will be from mathematics 40 to 50 percent is from mathematics uh, so let's see here uh, so for a unit 1 mathematics you have algebra uh, coordinate geometry boolean algebra trigonometry and probability and statistics and the second is you need to uh, computer awareness here they mentioned that uh, computer basics and data representations uh, binary ascii and hexadecimal representations and uh, binary arithmetic uh, binary arithmetic like addition and subtraction and the operating system basics for uh, analytical ability and logical reasoning general awareness and general english so these are the five parts you have to cover in this the more weightage is from mathematics computer awareness and logical reasoning so these three are the most important parts to score good marks in this exam you have to throw with these three parts general uh, general awareness and uh, english don't give much time out for that uh, you can refer previous year question papers to cover that uh, don't give much time because uh, it, there is no end of the syllabus for that they can ask anything for general awareness definitely they will ask about chandrayaan tree this time as uh, i am predicting they will ask about chandrayaan uh, chandrayaan tree uh, many space questions will be asked like isro and all so let's uh, let's understand uh, how many questions from mathematics they will ask let's see first algebra matrix and determinants progression uh, arithmetic progression geometric progression and harmonic progression logarithmics and quadratic equation uh, sets permutation and combination these are the topics uh, you will get from uh, algebra uh, in each topic you will get uh, hardly two to three questions from each topic okay uh, minimum one two or three maximum three questions will be there from each topic basically from uh, previous year trends i have observed that from uh, algebra part for entire algebra part you will be getting around 13 to 15 questions uh, next part is coordinate geometry straight line circle parabola hyperbola ellipse so these are the topics you have to cover and uh, according to the previous year trend uh, from this to this particular topic you will be having four to five questions okay coming for trigonometry trigonometry there are uh, basic questions and some standard questions are there refer to that uh, the pdf that i will share in that pdf there are some standard questions and formulas just refer to that that is enough but basic should be strong understanding of angles understanding of sin, sin 90 plus theta cos 90 plus theta this basic under concept should be strong uh, for trigonometry hardly four to five questions maximum four four to five questions uh, last year only there were two questions from trigonometry uh, but uh, from 2020 2021 uh, question paper we see four to five questions they will ask and from the probability and statistics uh, you will be getting four to five questions so from the boolean algebra you may ask about uh, uh, basic operation evaluation of boolean expression basic postulates they may ask uh, first let's see for mathematics okay and then go to computer science uh, for mathematics i have a pdf here this is the notes that i made it for the last time preparation you will find most important formulas from that particular topic and uh, these standard questions one or two standard questions 
uh, from that topic okay and from basic examples for you can see first permutation and combinations is the formula for permutation and combination uh, what is the value of factorial 5 4 and till 10 i have written the value okay so these are some basic uh, examples then formula for sum of all digits then concept of dearrangement and then uh, circular permutation in circular permutation uh, there is a n minus 1 factorial is a formula for that and if there is no difference between clockwise and anti-clockwise anti for example they will ask in the question like garland or the or, uh, necklace uh, so there will be no difference between uh, clockwise and anti-clockwise so in that scenario uh, we will divide it by 2 1 by 2 into n minus 1 factorial so then combinations for combinations uh, basic formulas i have written to find the n sides number of triangles uh, so this is the most important all the formulas if n is an even integer then the value if n is an odd then greater value so number of the divisors of the number will find this okay so concept of rectangle concept of square so this is for the permutation and combination uh, all the uh, basic formulas then sets sets all the definitions is there with the formulas and as well as some uh, all the operations on sets uh, like union intersection disjoint difference offset semantic difference offset so complement offset these are covered in this like uh, the basic laws you might ask uh, the direct questions of laws uh, ad important laws identity laws commutative laws de morgan's laws distributive laws these are the important uh, topics for that uh, basically if you have covered your basics from ncrt or any of the book uh, you can refer any of the book the basic thing uh, the basic idea is to cover your basics from the mathematics you can take uh, 11th and 12th you don't have much time to cover basics and then go for that if you have a good knowledge of mathematics then directly jump into this pdf and start preparing for that okay you have only direct questions here and uh, direct formulas then probability though all the uh, formulas binomial distribution formula is also is the concept of dies i have written concept of coins uh, so these are my topics uh, Oh, uh, that I have made it uh, for the preparation uh, for a mutual and non-mutual exclusive events uh, for independent and dependent events also is there formulas. So this is for uh, dies. Then concept of chessboard is there. Then we come to quadratic equation. Quadratic equation basic uh, formula and the determinant formula for the quadratic equation and uh, roots. For example, if there is a two negative values in uh, the equation, then you will get uh, one positive root and negative root. So in this way, if there is a one negative and positive uh, value in the equation, then you will get both the positive values in the root root values so this is product of root and the sum of roots direct formulas is there if you get if you if they given this equation if they ask the product of roots then c by a if they ask sum of the root minus b by a so these are the direct equations that i have given here and the basic concept of discriminations if uh, d is greater than zero then root b positive uh, d is less than zero then it is imaginary if it is equals to zero uh, so roots are equal real or equal so in this way i have written this so all the co one common root equations are also is there so we will find entire all the basic uh and for the imaginary like omega and all uh, i think you don't require this for uh pgct and for this progression progression arithmetic mean geometric mean and uh, harmonic mean how you to find the formulas have been given and some basic for three terms so how you can form the uh, values for a four term of uh, arithmetic progression how you can form the values so you can uh, see here and this is for the geometric progression for geometric progression formula b is equals to root ac and some of the ge uh, infinite geometric progression can be asked for that this is a formula and the for harmonic progression and the harmonic mean base uh, uh, most important topic harmonic mean b is equals to 2ac by a plus c so how you can find the uh, the, the direct uh, direct uh, basic questions are there and for the trigonometries all the formulas has been written here okay you can refer it all the four quadrant chart is written here and the sum difference formulas are there and the half angle formulas one by third form angle formulas 
and uh, relation between degree and radiant this also covered here and the direct values of sin 15 sin 18 sin 54 degree so for sin 54 uh, and cos 36 the same value uh, root 5 plus 1 by 4 so direct values are written and these are some standard questions if you if they ask you for uh, sin 20 sin 40 sin 60 sin 80 uh, then the direct answer is 3 by 16 so these are some direct answers i have written here and some periodic functions uh, for uh, periodic uh, the period of uh, cos x sin x sec x cos x is 2 pi and tan x and cot x is pi so in this way uh, I have uh, detailed written and for the uh, trigonometric equations also you can refer uh, they will uh, don't ask much about trigonometric equations and uh, properties of triangles but you can refer if you have already uh, done the basic of it then you can refer it uh, at the last time then some uh, basics of uh, inverse trigonometric function is also here but uh, inverse trigonometric function is not in your syllabus you can refer it if you have a sufficient time and if you are prepared well and you covered all the topics then and uh, then uh, we come to uh, coordinate geometry 2d uh, in this rectangular cartesian system area of finding of area of triangles uh, if the four points are given how you can find the square area of square these are then section formulas uh, like uh, center of the triangle in center of the triangle those direct formulas is given here and then uh, uh, in the straight line finding the slope of the line and angle between the two lines uh, finding angle between the two lines the formula is given and angle between the parallel lines equation of parallel and perpendicular line how you can if this uh, if the la if the equation of the line is given then how you can find the perpendicular uh, lines equation so this is also given here and point of and to find the point of intersection of two lines then uh, concurrent lines point of intersection of uh, whether the given lines are concurrent or not for that there is a determinant method to solve it the distance between the parallel lines then the concept of trisection so detail in detail uh, last time preparation notes is here and the first circle uh, basically they might have this uh, they might ask about the circle also question like position of a point with respect to the circle whether it is out of the circle whether it is, whether it is on the circle or whether, whether it is inside the circle so these questions might ask uh, the relation between the two circles whether they are uh, intersecting each other whether they are uh, neither intersecting nor uh, touching the circle or whether it touches the it touches externally it touches internally so in this way and uh, cosentric center tangent of the center this is enough for you okay and uh, in the conic section uh, parabola hyperbola and ellipse previous year there are three or four questions from parabola and hyperbola from conic section there are three three or four questions from the mathematics uh, so don't miss this topic don't skip this topic uh, if you are uh, prepare for this like focus of this uh, parabola all the all other things are given position of the point with respect to the parabola and the tangent conditions for the parabola hyperbola and ellipse all three are given here and this is for the ellipse and this is the for hyperbola position of a point with respect to hyperbola this is and tangent of the standard hyperbola is coming about statistics uh, you can uh, uh, take the individual series discrete series continuous series and uh, arithmetic mean standard deviations these all formulas are covered here then combined mean combined mean how you can uh, get direct formulas are here and uh, reading the missing values from the given series mean median mod this topic also very important uh, This is the uh, last time preparation notes basically uh, which contains uh, the major uh, all the important formulas of all the topics and as well as some standard questions that can be directly asked in the exam uh, where you can find this uh, pdf is i will drop a drive link of this file in the description uh, go check out there and download it and share with your friends the one who is preparing share this video with friends so that they can get a uh, glimpse of how to prepare for this exam okay coming to computer part i have made some list regarding the computer which are all the topics you have to cover for the computer and how you have to cover i will tell it to you 
generation of computers then storage devices for example hard disk ram rom and also unit of memories like kb mb gb how many mb is equals to 1 gb so this type of questions might you ask might be asked then operating system in operating system uh, scheduling uh, floating point representation system and uh, types of operating systems uh, and this basic of operating systems you can cover to cover for the computer networks tcp ip model osi model and uh, ip address setting uh, ip what is ip address and a uh, basic web uh, like http www and uh, conversions like binary to octal binary to hexadecimal binary to decimal and even they might ask you the arithmetic uh, operations like binary operations like addition of binary numbers or um, product of hexadecimal numbers and then input output devices and then main thing is sql queries database management system uh, what you can best thing you can do is for database management system uh, just search in the youtube sql tutorial you can find one or two hours of video any of the video that you frequently watch the, of the channels you can refer any one of the video and get a clear idea about how to analyze the queries the table is given you need not to create any tables here they just give the queries uh, and the uh, find the right query uh, which is which can execute and extract so and so values they will ask in this way so you just need to uh, take a one or two hours of tutorial video and uh, cover uh, sql queries and all the topics that i have told you you can find all these topics in youtube and google okay you can refer to geek for geeks w3 schools so these are the best websites to cover these topics you just analyze the previous your question paper just take the question paper go uh, just analyze the question, computer part of it and uh, understand what are all the topics they are asking just note down the topics search in the google and also prepare for related topics with that for example if they ask you about binary to octal convert the binary to octal then you have to cover all the binary conversions like binary to octal binary to decimal even addition product of the binary numbers uh, product of octal numbers how you can do it you have to cover it and for example if they ask related to any computer network question like tcp ip model then you can cover tcp ip model osi model http ip addresses and all you can cover it and then for the logical reasoning part it is there is no end a uh, logical reasoning part is like the more you practice the more you get perfect in that so what the best practice in this duration you can do is just refer to previous year question papers solve the previous year question papers again and again again and again if you are done with your syllabus just solve uh, every day you have to give at least uh, if uh, you are done with your colleges like final year semester exams at least you have to give four to six hours per day from now to get uh, a good time and for the general awareness and english just refer the previous year question papers that is enough basically once you done with all your uh, basics and um, uh, syllabus then only solve previous year question papers i have uploaded the drive you have the last 10 years of question papers in that let's come to how you can solve the question paper on the day of exam uh, the first and foremost thing is don't stuck into any question because the examiner will intentionally put five to six questions uh, of mathematics especially mathematics which are actually taking a time and he wants you to waste your time in that questions by solving that questions so better way if you are finding any difficulty in understanding the problem or solving the problem just skip that problem and move to next question don't waste your time more than 30 seconds in any of the questions so okay, first uh, first thing is first is the scanning round when you take your when you get your paper, question paper just scan the questions okay scanning in the sense just read read the questions especially, especially for mathematics while reading only there are some questions in which you can answer for example direct formula based questions or standard questions will be there uh, so for that in scanning round you can uh, uh, in 20 minutes uh, in 10 to 15 minutes you can scan entire paper like reading all the questions and while reading only you can solve at least 10 to 15 questions uh, i'm sure like uh, for mathematics only if you there is any standard question is given or direct formula question is given you can uh, directly mark that uh, mark that question and then second round now the paper is old for you okay all the questions you have read and you know uh, how much you can give and you know where, which questions you don't know uh, so and the second round solve the questions that you know 
if it is taking more than one minute just leave that question and move forward and the third round which are all the questions that you don't know then you can waste your time there okay uh, and the best part is there is no negative marking in this exam so at the end if you don't know the answer you can mark any of the answer a b c d which which is closest to your uh, as per uh, your thoughts or as per your analysis you can do that so the, the main thing is uh, how you perform on that day you have uh, two two hours of time in two hours uh, if you give your 100 percent and solve the question paper then you can get a very very good rank don't uh, don't think much about the results just give your best results will definitely come as you want uh, so this is what i want to convey for this pdf uh, this PDF link will be uh, in the description. Download that. If you haven't downloaded your previous year question papers, I will also put the drive link also. Download all the question papers and analyze thoroughly and follow and prepare accordingly. Okay. So all the best for the exam. Prepare well. If you are new here, make sure you like, subscribe to this channel and hit that notification button uh, to get regular updates on PGCAT. And uh, many of you guys are asking about uh, uh, edit option and uh, how to download admit card don't rush guys just focus on your preparation plan just uh, i will notify you okay uh, don't worry about uh, uh, admit card when admit card will come definitely i will put the video and many of the youtube channels are there they will guide you through so don't worry about when the uh, admit card will come when uh, edit option will be released don't bother about it this is your preparation time so prepare for it thank you